sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course, I've only tried a few simple ones myself, but they've all worked for me. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. It's not real, the ceiling. It's just bewitched to look like the night sky. I read about it in Hogwarts, a history. Nearly headless? How can you be nearly headless? Harry, no way. You heard what Madame Hoop said. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. What an idiot. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. Look, stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. You do it then if you're so clever. I checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light. I'll stop it. No, even with a proper one, it's too risky. Don't you think I'll get caught? <laughs> no, no one ever comes in here. But so what? I bet loads of people here can do it. No. They can't. It's not a very common gift, Harry. Even Scabbers enjoyed himself. You know the Egyptians used to worship cats? Yeah. Who do you think that is? Professor R.J. Lupin. Do you know everything? How is it she knows everything? It's on a suitcase, Ronald. Ouch, Ron, that was my foot. Serious black, do you? Oh, honestly, Ron. If you ask me, divination's a very woolly discipline. How to respect his superiors. <laughs> I hope you don't mean yourself. Your cat killed him. Rubbish. Scabbers is gone. Well, maybe you should learn to take better care of your pets. Your cat killed him. Did not. Did. Didn't. Wake up. Wake up, Ronald. Bloody hell. Honestly, get dressed. <sighs> and don't go back to sleep. Come on, Ron. Your mother says breakfast's ready. It's not going to work. This is an age line. Dumbledore drew it himself. So? So, a genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a dog as pathetically dim-witted as an ageing potion. Uh, well, Hermione. Oh, girl. Very well spotted. One person couldn't feel all that. It'd explode. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. I can't understand why you don't want to wear it, Ronald. Because I look like a bloody idiot, that's why. No more than usual, Ronald. How did you do that? Crush it, don't cut it. No, the instructions specifically say to cut. No, really. I'd like to know whose that book was. Let's have a look, shall we? No. Why not? The binding is fragile. The binding is fragile? Liquid luck. Don't drink it, Ron. Apparently she's trying to smuggle you a love potion. Really? Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. OK, sorry. Um, kidding. Uh, um... You're bloody lucky you weren't killed. Sorry. Oh, you have to realise who you are, Harry. I suppose you want to break up with him now that he's suddenly all interesting. He's been poisoned, you daft dimbo. I'm going down to Hagrid's. What? No, Harry, you've got to go and speak to Slughorn. Oh, well done. See here, everyone. This Granger's done it. 